you are purchasing uh, one the Avenue in Linden mm -hmm. for two hundred and forty thousand dollars. You are? Are you taking that long? No long. No. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. What up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Ed Maximilian back again for another video. Today's video is about three months in the making, all right? Uh, I've been away from YouTube for a while because I had to concentrate on stacking cash so I can uh, buy a new HQ. I am completely out of room <laughs> uh, for bikes. I have at least 18, 20 bikes in this garage. I have all size. I mean, I got uh, Ninja 400, Monster 1200, Scooter 300, bunch of R3s, more Ninjas back there, more R3s here, more R3s there, and it's just, it's too much. I have to uh, get a new spot for a showroom because uh, I sell bikes and I teach people how to ride as well. So I ended up finally securing a building. Today, I already closed on the building. I got the title, the deed and everything. I got keys to the building. I can officially move in. So I got a friend coming through. There's a lot of work to do by myself and I don't have any help. It's really hard to find help nowadays. So yeah, let's do it. I'm back. Uh, Bones is here. Check out Bones. Bones is from the, you guys remember from the Amsterdam video? We just missed the Heineken experience. That's what we did, right, boss? So he's here. He's gonna help me out. We're gonna uh, load the bikes in. I got the truck over there. I'll move it over. We'll just do a quick time lapse. So these right here, these are called Canyon Dancers and these are the best things to use to transport bikes because it's basically like having a person hold it for you while you drive and you don't uh, mess up the forks, which are these things. You don't, you don't mar anything and there's a protector for the tank here. It's really cool. I'll put a link in the uh, description below so you guys could buy yourself a pair and support the channel because I do get a little bit of a commission. See, these are it, called Canyon Dancers. These are the best, get these. Well, just in case, Bones never driven a trailer before, but it'll be all right, right Bones? <laughs> so here we go, let's do a quick little walk around. Four at a time, that's a 400 Cowie, the R3, and two uh, 2020 R3s up top. Finally ready to go. I might be talking a little louder than usual because I have to wear those earplug things to stop the noise because it turns out after riding so much, the termies are so loud, uh, I, I'm having trouble hearing now. <laughs> It's crazy. I, I, I just turned 34 and I got hearing problems. I might have to just put the baffles on here. Otherwise, I'm going to lose all my hearing. Uh, let's get the quad lock. Shout out the quad lock. I'll put a link in the description to this too. These are amazing. Are uh, you ready? So it's basically here. Make a left. Like two or three blocks down. Make another left. Watch the potholes. Oh Easy around the potholes. Make a right onto the ramp. All right. We'll do five. We'll leave these there. Come back. I'll ride Baby Ninja, load another four. That'll be 10 bikes in two trips. All right, and just to let you guys know, it is currently, it's low, it's low, it's colder than that. It's not 45, it's like, it's like 39. I think it says 45, the heat from the bike, or maybe because it was in the garage, but it is not 45 outside. I can guarantee you that. We're closer to like upper 30s, mid 30s, something like that. Look at this salt, this thing will take you out. And then this guy spraying water here, it's gonna freeze over and then if I was riding here that's this is all black ice what the hell is wrong with this guy look at all those beautiful bikes Woo. yeah <laughs> that's how you transport bikes guys I got my uh, heat warmer here bacon strips on these are uh, hand warmers grip warmers nice and toasty man I got these plugs in my ears 
and it's still freaking loud but i gotta wear them man i like i spoke to a, a hearing doctor and yeah they said my follicles are like being destroyed from from riding and that sucks because i love riding so uh loud pipes do save lives but loud pipes also destroy eardrums everybody's wearing masks now right so it's muffled and and one thing that people tell me like people that are hard of hearing they they read lips and i never really understood that until until now because people talk i can't hear them number one number two i can't read their lips to make out what they're saying with the sound that i hear i do have to ask people to repeat things it's one of those things where you go what 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 and then like after like the third or fourth what you just you just give up on asking because you don't want to seem like a dumbass or piss people off all right we made it here with Bones, what HQ2. Up? So we're just gonna unload and it's getting dark quick and it's getting very, very cold. I can't feel my hands. <laughs> like five or six bikes for another day because it's so cold and it's getting dark so i'd rather not ride in the cold and dark so um through the magic of editing you're gonna see me the following day <laughs> three days later and Looking good. All we need now is some banners right up here to complete the look. And they did come in the mail, so here they are. I just gotta hang these up. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, little buddy. Oh, okay, all right, all right. So, Scooter's excited because we're done today, right? Check it out, banner one, banner two, banner three, banner four. Looking good. Uh, just a quick message for everybody. I just hit 500 subscribers today. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot to me. And I really appreciate everybody's support. I still stand by my first videos promise that first thousand sub will get to uh, ride at my future track that I'm gonna own one day. I promise I'm gonna own one and you're all invited. So thank you for all the support. Ah uh, man, this building must have taken about 2007. So 14 years it took me to get this building. It's a lot of hard work and it's always been my dream to have my own dealership. This is kind of like the beginning of it all. I'm really excited. I'm gonna have another video soon of how I was able to purchase this property by uh, using tax loopholes and uh, leveraging my other properties and taking advantage of the crazy residential boom that's going on right now. Stay tuned for that for now. Just enjoy a flyover of the building and you can see how big it is. As always, ride safe and and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>